tutorial on the Simple Action Script 3 Gallery. In order to use the gallery, we're going to use a couple of components that are provided by Adobe with CS3 or CS4, and they are specific to Action Script 3. There are different ones for Action Script 2. And before we actually use the gallery, let me demonstrate the use of the components to you. You'll see here off on the side, I have a, um, a list of files. Uh, the gallery folder, uh, gallery file, which I'll get to shortly. But I do have a pictures folder, and if I un, if I open up that picture, here we go, my slow computer. <clears throat> you'll notice that I have in here um, a number of labeled images, and I have one file that's an FLV file, which is video. And what we ultimately want our gallery to be able to do is load an image or load video. Coming back to our Flash movie, let's do those things, those two tasks, loading a video or loading images using components. I'm going to go to the component window, and I'm going to choose user interface, and I'm going to grab a UI loader component and drag it to the stage. Now, if you can't find the component window and let's close this back up. Um, you can always go to the window menu and choose components and you're also going to want to choose the component inspector. Now what I'm going to do is save this file I'm just going to call it components and we'll wait for a minute because the new computer has not arrived yet and then um, let's go to my simple AS3 gallery folder thanks for your patience and save this file All right. I want to save it because when I export my FLA file, or my SWF file rather, I want it to be in the same place relative to my pictures folder. And I'm going to move my properties panel down so that you can see what's in here again. And I think I'm just going to load this picture called or.jpg. Um, using the component inspector, I'm going to select this UI loader and I'm simply going to go to the source pictures slash or dot JPEG. It's in the pictures directory. I'm going to hit return and if I test this movie it exports the movie and it loads the picture. Notice that it scaled the picture to fit my UI loader component. If I want the picture to load at its actual size, I can select the loader again. I can go back to the component inspector and I can say scale content false test the movie again and I can load an image without any coding whatsoever. So we're the gallery script uses UI loader component. component. It, it just, just adds, adds some action, 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 action script that tells the tells component, component what to load, what to load, to load at any time. time. But you see you how see simple how it is to load, load, load an next image. image. You can load, you can load a, a GIF, you can load a JPEG, you can load a PNG, you can either either load another SWF file, a flash file that has an interactive button and scripts and things. So this is sort of a universal loader. It does everything except video. Now you'll notice I have this logo spin.flv uh, video here. What I'm going to do is go back to my components. I have a few more in mind than come with the stock 
uh, Adobe interface because I've purchased some components. But I'm going to go to video and I'm going to choose an FLV playback component. Drag that to the stage and close this up. And you'll see it comes in with a stock set of controls. Now if I go to the component inspector, it's the same thing. I can set the source. In this case, it actually uh, gives me the ability to browse for it. Or I can type pictures slash logo spin dot FLV. It is case sensitive like everything else in Flash. So you're going to want to make sure that's that's right. And now it's going to pull that video in for me. And if I test this movie, you can see that the video has actually loaded on top of the image and this particular video has an alpha channel in it so that it has a transparent background so as long as your video is already in FLV format that's going to work okay a few more things we can do here with the component inspector um, Autoplay is true. That means you want the movie to play automatically. Preview would be an image you wanted to show ahead of time. I didn't bother here. Scale mode could be maintain aspect ratio, meaning the height and width uh, are the same uh, relative to the original. No scale means I get the movie at the exact size I want. That's usually what I'm going to select because I don't want my movie to be stretched because I can lose quality. Exact fit um, will fit it to however large you drag the component out to. I'm going to set this to no scale and the last thing I can do is I can choose a skin. Now there are two types, under and over. Let me drag this onto the screen and they give you a preview. Um, I can choose an under skin, which is here, or I can choose an over skin. And I want one with no skin over, with all the controls, no full screen and no caption. And you'll notice that the screen, the controls are now over the video. And if I want, I could even adjust the color. And just for purposes of this, I'm going to make my, my color red. And I also have the ability to adjust the, uh, the transparency. I'm going to make that 50%. And you'll see that my controls are, are now over the movie. So you have the ability to customize your controls quite easily. And then the last part here is there is a skin auto hide. Um, false means it's always there. True means as soon as I move my mouse out from the video, it's going to hide automatically. Let's go ahead and test this movie one more time. It should work the exact same way, but it should not scale the movie or stretch it in any way. And we should get controls when we roll over the movie. Here we go. Let's try this again. It's in the background. Okay, the ore loads. And there's my video at the original resolution. And if I roll over the video, my, con my controls are there. So we have the UI loader component and we have the video component. These are the two main pieces that are going to get used in the gallery.